हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एक्सप्लोर वर्ल्ड एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर टेकिंग वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योरसेल्फ टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट मस्ट हैव वर्सेस माइट हैव आई हैव सीन मेनी पीपल गेट कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट मस्ट हैव एंड माइट हैव फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई आस्क यू ही मस्ट हैव गॉन टू द मार्केट ही माइट हैव गॉन टू द मार्केट सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू सेंटेंसेस डू यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मस्ट हैव एंड माइट हैव If you don't know the difference between must have and might have you must watch this video today till the end okay so let's start it quickly today i'll tell you when should you use must have and when should you use might have but before that i just want to remind you if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe by pressing subscribe button below and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the next video all right let's come back to the topic we use must have or might have to make guesses or deduction about an action in the past so when you make a guess about an action which has happened in the past you use either must have or might have but there is a difference what is that you'll come to know about it and you should remember must have and might have is used with the third form of the verb like go went gone so you will use gone here with must have and might have in the same way sleep slept slept so you will use slept the third form of the verb along with must have and might have so you remember that we always use third form of the verb that is past participle along with must have and might have just like we do in perfect tense okay now about must have must have expresses an opinion an inference or a conclusion about an earlier past situation okay so must have expresses an opinion an inference a sure guess a conclusion about an earlier past situation why a conclusion because you are very much sure about something which has happened in the past at that time you use must have when you make a sure guess when you make an inference about an action which has happened in the past you use must have and we use it when we believe that the action has definitely happened when you are 100% sure about something at that time you use must have for example he must have slept by now you are using must have as you know about a person very well you know about his time schedule that's why you are very much sure about an action which has happened in the past so he must have slept by now you are concluding something in your statement by using must have another example she must have left the house again you are making a certain guess that is an inference so you are using must have as you know about a person's punctuality you know about a person's habit that's why you are very much sure about an action which has happened in the past so you are saying she must have left the house all right so you use must have when you are sure about an action which has happened in the past and that action has definitely happened in that case you use must have now i'll talk about might have might have expresses an opinion an uncertain guess a speculation about an earlier past situation so we use might have to make a guess about an action which has happened in the past and we are not sure about it in that case we use might have so you are expressing an opinion a guess which is uncertain we use it when we believe that the action has possibly happened or not happened okay the action has not definitely happened but it has possibly happened or not happened for example he might have felt good so you are not sure about it that's why you are saying he might have felt good so you are just making a guess about which you are not sure 
and as an example she might have joined her job today so here also you are not sure about it that's why you are saying she might have joined her job today so it is a guess about which you are not sure okay it's an uncertain guess the same way another example he might not have gone there it's in negative form so he might not have gone there again you are making a guess about which you are not sure but definitely we talk about an action which has happened in the past when we use must have or might have okay i hope you have understood it well but for a better understanding i'll tell you the difference between must have and might have again in short so must have expresses an inference that is a sure guess about an action in the past that definitely happened okay and might have expresses a speculation about an action that possibly happened or not happen in the past so here we talk about an action which has definitely happened in the past and here we talk about an action which has possibly happened or not happened in the past so here you are sure about something which you are saying but here you are just making an uncertain guess so this is the difference between must have and might have i hope you have understood it well now right so don't forget to subscribe this channel by pressing the bell icon and if you have liked this video then please press like and share it with your friends with your family members thanks for watching it very soon i'll bring another video till then take care bye bye